This week on the ZTV Sports Report, we recap men's soccer matchup against Ohio State. Tom Wistersill shares us the current and future state of Akron athletics, and we take a look at the football team's next opponent, the Ohio Bobcats. All that and more on the ZTV Sports Report, which begins right now. Welcome to the ZTV Sports Report, your very home for Akron Zips Athletics. I'm Sartaj Ojala, and we have a great show lined up for you this week. Let's quickly recap the latest games that went on for our teams. We start off with football, a team coming off a close game against Louisiana Lafayette, facing Bowling Green this weekend. Our Zips started off hot with 14 points in the first quarter, but were unable to muster up anything else, as Bowling Green's put up 28 unanswered points against the Zips. Calpole would finish with 199 yards and a touchdown. And defensively, C.J. James was able to total three sacks in a forced fumble in the loss. Our men's soccer team has certainly been off to a great start in their first seven games. Our Zips have been able to post up a 5-2 record. Can they continue their success when a Big Ten Conference school in Ohio State comes to town? The men's soccer team looking to add on to their two-game winning streak by taking on a 2-3-2 Buckeye team looking to reach 500. Akron would come out of the gate attacking frequently on offense to tire the Buckeyes. The attack ended up rewarding the Zips as Adam Najim kick goes off the net pole, but Lady Luck would deliver the ball back to Zach Portolios, who would capitalize and make it a goal, giving Akron the lead 1-0. For a majority of the rest of the match, it would prove to be a mental battle between the two teams to find a break. Zips' defense would prove to win the mental battle, with Ohio State as the Buckeyes were unable to even get one goal and they only were able to do one shot, yes, only one shot attempt. Akron would try to further their lead with a couple of shots at the goal, but as the game already was in the books, as Ohio State couldn't overcome the Zips' relentless defense. Zach Portios had three shot attempts at the goal and was able to net one goal, and Adam Najim assisted in that one goal. Goalie Fernando Pina would have an easy night as he had one save against the Buckeyes on their only shot attempt. Let's stick with soccer and check on our Lady Zips, who have also been finding some similar success as men's soccer. Their determination to improve under head coach Vernon Croft's second year would be the put to the test against Miami of Ohio. Success is definitely in the blood of our women's soccer team, as back in 2009, the Lady Zips were able to become the MAC East Women's Soccer Champions. Our Miami of Ohio team would strut their way onto the field and try to halt the Zips in their quest to a championship. Miami would press early in the game to fluster Zips as Vernon Croft is forced to watch his team and try to get something going on offense. Akron was able to stay together and save some shots from Miami of Ohio, and despite starting off slow, were able to be the first team to find the scoreboard in the first half. The Lady Zips would just continue to respond to a Miami of Ohio goal with one of their own to end the game 2-1, to one. and having the Zips cross over 500 in their win percentage. Lanny Smith would prove to be a key player in the game as our Lady Zips scored both of Akron's goals. Last year, women's volleyball was able to get some success at the beginning of the season and were able to ride that success into a MAC tournament quarterfinal. However, our Lady Zips have this year have been seeing some back and forth results that they were not pleased to begin with. An Ohio Bobcat team came into James A. Rhodes Arena to test the Akron's resolve in a competitive matchup. Akron would try and pump themselves up to face an intimidating Ohio Bobcat team, and Coach Ron Rams knows the game will be pivotal in their conference play record. The Zips would try and send a message early on in the game to try and demoralize the Bobcats. However, Ohio would not be shaken off easily as their offense was able to fiercely challenge Zips in many tough sets in the game. Akron would try to get back into the game as often as they could, but the Bobcats' fierce bite would certainly leave a mark as Akron was unable to get any momentum going into the game as Ohio took all three sets. Akron football has certainly not shined away from new spotlight, and it has much to do on their work ethic and determination to get better. But how different is the culture from Akron's last football coach? Our very own Jeannie McBride has a story. It's that time again. Football season is here. The Akron Zips football team has played four games so far, but with a few losses. The team is showing great potential. Why is that? Is it because the team is showing better teamwork? Does the team have more confidence? Or is the team finally adapting to Coach Terry Bowden's system? I interviewed senior Austin Bailey and junior Michael Leo for more information. So, how do you think the football team is looking so far? Uh, you know, we're looking pretty good. Had a good camp this year. Uh, really came together, you know, first couple weeks, uh, weeks of play. 
last you know last week you know tough loss really wanted that win i think we're doing pretty well i mean uh as an offense we're really clicking on all cylinders we gave uh, michigan a run for their money um being a junior you played under rob ianello and terry bowden uh do their coaching styles differentiate at all uh with uh terry bowden we run a different style of offense but uh with just mentality and everything like that it's been night and day where Coach Terry Bowden, he's brought in a lot of motivation and stuff. Between the two coaches, it was completely different. Um, you have Coach Bowden, who's you know way more personable. Um, you know, Coach Ionello, uh, you know, first year coach, first year head coach, uh, maybe was a little bit inexperienced, but you know, two two different types of people out there. It seems that Zips fans have much much more to look forward to, and as Coach Bowden says, all we have to do is believe. I'm Jeannie McBride for the ZTV Sports Report, and now back to Sartage in studio. That concludes our first segment of the ZTV Sports Report, but don't worry, I won't be moving from the seat, and I expect the same from you. Stick tight, we'll be right back.